Hello, we're Greg and Jenny from Badminton Insight. Now it's pretty well known that hitting a backhand rear court shot is technically one of the hardest shots in badminton, but when you get it right, it feels so good. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to give you some tips to help you improve your backhand technique, no matter if you're playing a drop, clear or a smash. Firstly, we need to mention that you should only take a backhand in the rear court corner if you absolutely have to as often taking the shot around the head will be much more effective, especially in doubles. So when you are forced into this position, you split, chasse and pivot so that you're facing backwards. This is important for the rotation and therefore power of your shot. You should then be in what's called a bevel grip with your thumb on this ridge here. And if you're taking the backhand really late and low down, you would be in a panhandle grip like this but this late backhand is a different shot and the technique isn't quite the same. Despite its name, you definitely don't want to be in a backhand grip with your thumb on the wider part of the racket here, as this makes it impossible to hit your shot forwards. Okay, so you've got the right grip. Our next key point is your elbow height. You want to start with your elbow low and not high, because if you do start with it high up here like this, then you can only generate power from your shoulder Whereas starting low means you can use the rotation of your legs and body to add power into the shot. And this helps with your timing and therefore shot quality. Another thing that helps with your timing is your body positioning. You don't want to be too tucked in when playing the shot or even reaching too far away. You want your arm to be slightly bent at the point of contact with your racket vertical like this. These three tips, your grip, your elbow height and your body positioning all allow you to have a fast and smooth action so that you can hit the shot to where you want to quite easily. But of course, all of these steps take practice. And when you are practicing, try to make sure you have the same preparation when playing your drop, clear and smash so that your opponent doesn't know what's coming. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, why not share it with someone who always struggles with their backhands? It might be a friend at training or it might even be your doubles partner and you always lose the point because of their backhands. Anyway, make sure you give the video a like and we'll see you on another one very soon. Bye.